and racing, I was always in like a male dominated, dominated sport. So whenever I got into gaming, um, it was kind of the same thing. I only started to notice that it was different to be a woman gamer when I was 12, 13, getting into Halo 2 lobbies. Being a woman in the gaming industry definitely has its uh, challenges, such as uh, not being seen as good enough. There's a lot of negativity in the gaming world and the internet but it's best to try to be a role model and change the way people look at women in gaming. I've learned to you know, deal with it in more professional ways and a good thing about the internet is you can block them. You know, I'm really happy to say that over the last five and a half years that I've been a streamer on Twitch, I've seen a significant improvement in harassment. I'm proud to be who I am and to represent what Gen G is representing. The idea that girls can do it because we can and we will. Personally, I've come such a long way from the last nine months, and it's almost been a year with Gen G, and just really happy with how things have moved. It's like making lifelong friends that I never knew that you know I could have, and then Bumble being here, being an extra support system, just makes it all worth it. I feel honored to be a part of Team Bumble because we're representing the same values and honoring the same ideas that Gen G has. I was so excited to be brought on by Gen G with the vision of empowering women in gaming, and it is so exciting now that we also have Bumble, uh, who's excited about our work here at Gen G and wants to support and empower the women that we have here and all the other women within the gaming industry.